Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. My name is Richman. In fact, guys, upon all the criticisms, upon all the agendas against Enzo Maresca, there is this one thing we, the Chelsea fans, don't know about Enzo Maresca, guys. And what is that thing? In fact, Maresca is the master of developing young players. Enzo Maresca has ever been assistant manager at West Ham and Man City, guys. And he's heavily influenced by Pep Guardiola. And he also worked with experienced managers like Carlo Ancelotti, Marcelo Lippi, and Manuel Pellegrini. Carlo Ancelotti, we all know who he is. He's our former boss, he ever won Chelsea Premier League. And Marcelo Lippi is Italian professional footballer and a manager. And he's a World Cup winner as a manager. 2006. He sent Italy national team and won the World Cup, guys. So all these experienced coaches, guys, Maresca learned from them. And Enzo Maresca is known for his possession-based football, which you see we are missing, holding the ball, passing the ball very well, which Maresca is known for. And he is also known for his attacking-minded Attacking minded, scoring goals for fun. And Maresca also known for playing deep line playmaker and invented fullbacks. And this is his tactics. It works at Leicester City last season. With Inacho scoring a lot of goals. Inacho scoring simple goals, tap in, scoring goals for fun because of the tactical sense of Enzo Maresca, guys. And him developing all his ability. To develop young players help Fatah Isako a lot. In fact, Fatah Isako play his best football under Maresca. And for that matter, at the ending of the season, Isako won Leicester City young best player. Yes, because of the development he gained from Maresca. Guys, and Wilfred Ndindi, can you believe this, guys? DM. He was scoring goals for fun because of Enzo deep line playmaking. Indindi as a DM was scoring goals for fun, giving critical passes, giving true passes because of the tactical brilliance of Enzo Maresca, guys. And if we are going to relate it to this, our current young squad, guys, Wilfred Indindi, Enzo Fernandez taking. The place of Wilfred and Dindi. It means that Maresca is coming to turn Enzo Fernandez to a goal scorer, clinical goal scorer. And Enzo will now start giving his true passes, critical true passes to the attackers. Guys, and Inacho, if we are going to relate Inacho to our current squad, there we have Nicholas Jackson. In fact, guys, if Jackson were to be converting his chances, he would have scored more than 30 goals in his first season at Chelsea. And there comes Maresca. Inacho was scoring for fun. So, he's coming to turn or to develop Nicola Jackson also to a, a prolific goal scorer. Being clinical, scoring goals for fun. Guys, and there comes Fatah Isahaku. In fact, if we are going to translate it or relate it to this, our young squad, him transforming Fatah Isako, then we have our Modric. There we have our Modric, guys. And we all know who is Modric. Very pacey player, faster, talented, having the potential. But sometimes his reading of the game is the problem. And there comes Enzo Maresca. There comes Enzo Maresca. He will turn Modric to be scoring goals, now disturbing defenders, giving defenders pressure upon pressure upon pressure like Fatah Isako was playing at Leicester City last season, guys. So, guys, there is hope. Yes, he never been at all, never been a head coach at a big club. But looking at where he came from, looking at all the managers who work under, there is hope. Maresca got something under his belt to translate or to pour into this, our young squad, guys. So, to me, 
or for me, I promise on my honor, guys, to give all my support to Enzo Maresca as Chelsea boss. Yes, I will support him whether raining or shining. I will support him during his bad times and his good times. But I will not stop criticizing him when things are not going right. Because I am supporting Chelsea Football Club. I'm not supporting any manager. I'm not supporting any coach. I'm supporting Chelsea as a football club. So anybody who is coming to destroy my club, anybody who is coming to damage my club for that one, I will not give that person the room. I will not open doors for that person in the course of the season or during the course of the season. If things are not going very well, some of us will talk, will criticize him. But as I said, we got a gym. We got a tactician, Enzo Maresca. So guys, let's give our support, our total support, our maximum support to Enzo Maresca. Yes, he may not be our favorite, but currently we don't have anything to do because he has been chosen by the board to be Chelsea manager next season. So what we the fans can do is to support him. That is the only thing manager or Enzo Maresca need from us, to support him, wish him all the best for him to succeed. So guys, please, let's support him. Let's wish him all the best. Let's put all favoritism aside. Let's put all agendas aside. Let's put all criticism aside and support Enzo Maresca to succeed at Chelsea. Because when he succeeds, Chelsea succeeds. And when Chelsea succeeds, we the fans also do what? Succeed. So guys, please support Enzo Maresca. And let's go to expectations, our expectation for Enzo Maresca next season, guys. Because next season, Chelsea to play European competition, conference leagues. But before we go there, guys, please just remind you to subscribe, please, and like this video to go far. At least, at least 40 likes will do. And let's come to our expectation, guys. In fact, Enzo Maresca, what he should bring. Because currently, he is innocent until he is proven guilty. So next season, for me, my expectation, let me hear from you also, guys, under the comment section, your expectation for Enzo Maresca next season. But for me, top four must obtain. Top four is a guarantee. No excuse for top four. We can't miss Champions League next season again. No. Remind you, the new model will start, I think, next season, 2024 to 2025. The Champions League new model, it being in a table form. So, Chelsea, we need to be there next season. So, top four, Chelsea must get top four. Mareska, please, if you are watching, or anybody who is near Mareska, please show this video to him that Chelsea fans demand top four next season. And also, Winning as the Conference League. Because when you look at the squad we have now, it is enough for Chelsea to win the Conference League. We have, the, we, have the, we have a good squad for us to go and compete in the Conference League so that Chelsea can set another record again, being the first team to win all the major European trophies, Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League. So guys, it's like this Conference League came for a reason. Because it is the only major European trophy Chelsea never win. And because we never participated in it. And Chelsea is the only team to won all trophies or to won all competition trophies they ever participated. Yes, Chelsea is the only team to won all competition trophies they ever participated. Any European club competition Chelsea ever participated, Chelsea won that competition trophy. It is only Conference League. And it just recently came. So it's like a reason, as I said. Or it's like it came for a reason. For us to go and win it and set another record again. So guys, to me, these are my expectations. Top four, winning any of the domestic cups. FA Cup or Carabao Cup. If you get FA Cup and don't get Carabao Cup, it's okay. If you get a Carabao Cup and don't get FA Cup, it's okay. But the bare minimum. Top four. The bare minimum. Top four. Mareska, listen. If we give Chelsea top four, winning the Conference League, maybe getting another domestic trophy, then 
the owners should add you another five years. Yes, if Maresca can get Chelsea top four next season, win Conference League, get Chelsea any domestic trophy, FA Cup, Caraba Cup, another five years, making it ten years. Guys, so these are my expectations. Let me hear from you under the comment section, your opinion and your thought and your expectations. What do you expect from Maresca next season? Please let me hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video to go far. Take care, peace.